Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an image to a mobilized HTML block. So this is not uh, something necessarily easy to do. So if you don't have much HTML or CSS experience, but especially HTML, you don't have any kind of uh, image editor or workflow, and you don't understand what those things are, you should probably stick with the mobilized uh, pre-made blocks like this because then all you have to do is click on the uh, block parameters and change the images and it's pretty easy. But if you, um, if you know how to code and you have some sort of workflow in place to be able to write HTML and CSS and JavaScript, then I'll show you how to do it. So first I've created a, just a basic site here, just using the drag and drop parts of MobiRise. What I'm, I'm gonna do is publish it I'm going to publish it to this local folder on my desktop called HTML image test. So let's publish those files. So here's our website. And what I need to do is go to, this is my folder here. I'm going to open up my uh, text editor. I use Atom. And then here in my text editor, I just need to open that folder. It's already there. <clears throat> so I have my um, I have my folder here, HTML image test. I have my assets file, the index file. Um, this was all created by MobiRise whenever I published uh, to that folder. And what I need to do is create a new section uh, wherever I want that to go. Um, let me see. I wanted it to go somewhere like uh, somewhere around in here, maybe after this section. So I've got a, an ending div here for a section. What I'm going to do is just write in a new section. And then I'm going to put a, a div here. I'm just going to show you a real basic example of an image, uh, inserting an image. So basically from this point out, it's all what you would normally do with HTML and CSS. Um, let me choose an image file. Let's go with the uh, be anything about this one and we'll just copy it and now uh, we need to paste it into this um, HTML image test uh, group of files that we already um, exported from MobiRise so let's find that we go to assets and then when it creates these uh, files here the file structure it creates one called images and now all we have to do is just paste it into images. So now we have our new image in there. And what I'm going to do is look at the properties so I can copy the file name. And then this is going to be in assets slash images. So that's what we're going to reference in the HTML. So, and actually my image editor allows me to, to come in and I mean, my text editor allows me to come in and grab the uh, the URL. So this is the the file that we're referencing here. Um, so I'm going to find it in um, assets slash images slash Chicago Sky dot JPG. Let's try that and see if that works for us. We actually need to go to the desktop. And then we'll open our index page. And just like that, our image is inserted right into the text uh, between or into the page between the text and this uh, next block down below. Um, 
And so now, in order to get this live online, when you open this uh, project, if you try to import it back into MobiRise, it's actually going to give you um, a little box with nothing in it because you've gone outside of the MobiRise software and added something into uh, MobiRise. So this is all, all your extra images like this are going to need to be added after the fact. So, you, you know, create your MobiRise website, think about where you want to put things, and then you're just going to have to insert images into the HTML afterward. And then once you've done that, <clears throat> then you can open your, um, you can open your FTP application. Let's see. I've already tried this one time, so let me just delete this out of here. We'll just start with a, a fresh folder. Okay, so our folder is blank. We have our files here, including our asset with the image. So this is the image that we put in. So let's just copy those files. And we'll bring them into we'll bring them into our uh, our server onto our server, and then we'll go to here. And now we want to go. This is going to be live online. So slash demos slash HTML image test dot index dot HTML. And let's see, HTML image test demos. Oh, that's a should be a slash. There we go. Okay, so here it is. Uh, this is where we just put it online. You can see here that it's not showing up. Uh, so let's check it out. Chicago Sky. Let me try to copy the full project path here. Maybe I messed up something. I'll save that and then I'll re-upload this file. And let's try it again. There we go. Okay. So something just messed up with the uh, the way I was referencing the file. Uh, so now you can see that our image shows up and it's in hard coded into our web page. And it's a part of the MobiRise uh, website flow. Now there are some other things you can do, like if you wanted it to be the parallax uh, image like this, you could take some of the classes and look at that inside of MobiRise and just convert this into an HTML uh, block and where you can edit the code. And then you could actually pull some of the classes that make this parallax. And you could just manually add those classes to this image uh, and make it a background parallax image. So that you can put text and some other things over the front of it, just like MobiRise does. Uh, but you can use a different layout or something. Uh, so there's lots of things that you can do, but this was a little bit more advanced technique that you're gonna have to, um, you have to go outside of MobiRise, add that in, and then put it into your website and on